Hey, what up, legends? How's it going? Kiwi and Bacon here. Now, today, for the deck showcase, I decided to revisit a deck that I created before the expansion came out, Electra's Bloodlust. Well, it was just called Bloodlust Shaman, but I decided to change a little bit of stuff in there, make it a little bit more consistent, a little bit more fun to play. Um, I removed Kalamos, decided to replace it with Electra Storm Surge. Um, she's a bomb, by the way. Uh, and... It is working absolutely fantastically well for me, so I'm sure that you guys will have a great time playing this as well. Uh, before we get into the game, before I start playing with this, I just wanted to mention that there is a giveaway on stream tomorrow. I will be giving away uh, two bundles of seven card packs to some of my viewers. If you want to participate and have a chance at winning those card packs all you've got to do even if you can't be on stream all you've got to do is subscribe to the channel and leave a comment down in the comment section letting me know why you should win those packs and i'll enter you in the draw for those if you're not there on stream when i reveal the winners your name uh will be put in the description of the stream so that way you guys could go check who won for those so that is that now let's jump straight into a game have some fun try to make sure that electra procs that bloodlust and um, brings us a swift victory i cannot wait to show you guys how strong this deck has become over the past couple of days now a lot a lot of people are playing mechatune decks some sort of control priest there's a lot of zulox as well um also this is showing you this is a pre... Oh, no, deck tracker. Deck tracker. This is a preview of my next deck. Don't show that to people. Um, we, we're, we're not doing that. We're, we're, we're playing Bloodlust. What have you done? Okay. Um, this is... This is a bit interesting. I don't really want Electra. Um, I don't really want the Earth and Might quite yet ah oh, shoot dude if I kept if I kept Earth might maybe maybe it could have worked we do have the storm chaser storm chaser is there to bring us that fantastic value with the bloodlust or the stormbringer but most often than not you're gonna get that bloodlust um, it's just no, th that's just statistics, right? 66% <laughs> of the time, well, depending if you drew any of them, um, you're going to get that bloodlust. And the other 33%, that's just an extra, you know, an extra card that you can get value from. And all. There is a bloodlust. That's something that I, I do like. Okay, so he's playing a weird deck. Um... He's playing a very weird deck. I am not going to play the Storm Chaser on turn 4. Because I don't want him to know I've got Bloodlust. I already have Bloodlust. So I'm going to wait. I'm instead going to play that Thunderhead. Um, what is he playing? Animal Companion. Okay. Um, that's a little scary. I am going to play that Thunderhead though. Um, he's going to... Let's actually deal one damage to that Leoc, since we're going to get another minion out. He can kill two things. I can do a big old bloodlust. Um, so, I think I'm going to go for that. I think I'm... Right, Kitty? Right? Going to go for the bloodlust? Yeah. We kind of have to now, don't we? Is he actually going for Thunderhead? Is he actually... He is scared. He's actually scared. He's... You know... No, no. What have you done? What have you done? What have you done? No, you're just dead on turn 5. You should have killed minions. See, that's why I didn't want to play that uh, Storm Chaser. He would have known. <laughs> oh, that feels so good. That feels so good. It was a, you know, it was a threat in itself. You can't just leave a 
Um, you can't just leave a big minion like that on there. But again, Shaman, you should always clear. Always, always, always clear the board. Or else you're going to regret it. Thunderhead is a very good minion, though. I really like it. I don't want to keep Stormbringer. I really don't. I'm going to get my wand drops. Hello, kitten. Dude, this cat is all over me right now. Do you think she's cute? Do you like her? I love her. She's the cutest. Okay, so we're going to play Joey. Then we're going to most likely totem. Huh. Huh. Well, Joey, I meant Mekaru. And then Joey's going to pop out. But, um... He's playing Zoo. And I'm playing Aggro, also. Um, it's all a matter of how many tokens we can put down on the board. Can I put more tokens than he does? Kind of feel like I have to do this. So now I keep two tokens. Then next turn I can prime off in Totem. That's another token generation. Um, okay. Do I kill it? The question is, do I kill it? The answer is yes. You have to kill it. Because Primal Fin Totem's a thing. Um, replicating Menace. Absolutely fantastic in this deck. Um, this is not good. This is this is very bad for us. Uh, I have to play the micro attack. I have to fill the board. I just have to fill the board. That is just the thing that I need to do. You can... What? No, no, no. No. I, okay. Here. We lost. <laughs> Dreadlord. Okay. I hate Dreadlord. I hate Warlock just because of Dreadlord. It is so frustrating. Okay. We have a knife juggler to start with. Knife juggler is just great in general. <laughs> knife juggler works very well. Um, primal fin. Yeah, okay. This is awesome. I'm going to keep this whole hand. I'm playing against a hunter, but um, even if you... Okay, the only thing that would suck would be like... Well, not the only thing, but one of the things that would suck would be that stupid, stupid explosive trap, which... Okay. So coin. Let's go coin primal fin for now. We'll we're keep we're gonna keep the knife juggler for a little bit later. He can kill the one one. Yes, he can. Go ahead, kill that one one. Skaterbot. Okay. Um. He can kill the... Okay, so he can kill the... I don't want him to kill said totem. I don't want him to kill the totem. But I could also play another... Ah. I'm going to try to keep it alive for a little bit. Alright. Now it's a 2-3. It's killed a minion. But it's not exactly what you're you're looking for still. Right? You, you, you want to fill up the board. But, oh, hi there. Yes. Okay. Put this apple on your head. So I'm going to lose the totem. But I have my knife juggler out on the board. And that is what matters for now. Because now my knife juggler can actually do his job. And, uh... Your magic okay, get silenced. Which, of course, is unfortunate. But... It's not completely bad for us. Um... If I play the second knife juggler... Yeah, okay, so I have to trade. I have to kill this. And I play the second knife juggler. Play something that spawns tokens. Send some more knives out. Keep going. Um, 
Storm Chaser is alright. But I don't feel like I want to play that right now. I feel like I want to fill the board. Or do I? Because I could play Storm Chaser and Flame Elemental next turn. That's two knives. And I would have a full board. Sort of. I could technically have a full board. So let's go with this let's go with the flame elemental. Okay. Please please actually yes. Okay. Trade this. Then we have a full board, we have a bloodlust. The only real thing that I'm scared of is explosive trap. Current. Or unleash the hounds. There you go. He knew I drew the bloodlust, right? He knew that that's what I got, so. Why would he stay? Why would he stay? I'm playing a token deck, I play Storm Chaser. Why would he stay in the game if he doesn't have an answer? I know those were pretty fast games, uh, however, it did show exactly what the deck is all about, and it worked pretty darn well, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, Give it a try. You will definitely not regret it. It's not as uh, terrible as, pe as people might think. Um, especially not against all those slower Mechathune decks that I've personally seen in the past couple days. I would enjoy if you gave this deck a good try. That is pretty much it for me today. Thank you everyone for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you have not already. And of course, of course, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.